this is <laughs> Adam, this is fucking Taylor pamphlet Adam. <laughs> International match. And <laughs> to cow. On my right, we have making our debut in battle rap from Texas, Rapunzel. Texas! Texas. Yeah. 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 Let's hope it's not going to be well, a fucking chainsaw oh. massacre tonight. Oh. Oh. Okay. One minute on two can let's go! Yes! I'd like to start by saying that I am a massive... Hold on! <laughs> <laughs> You're not Moss Prob. What's going on? Adam, when I said I wanted a rematch, I didn't mean that I wanted to battle the cheap snatch you pay to pretend to be your girlfriend. <laughs> Really mean, man. I didn't realise we had beef, man. Look, I'm sorry in the car I was feeling battle I came across a little weak, man. I'm sorry that in our battles I only prepped for like two weeks, man. And look, if it means that much to you, I'll give you the money I owed you for that weed bag. <laughs> Come on. You're degrading me to battle in this useless wench. I know I fucked up my first couple battles, but I've improved since then. You know what? Fine. I'll battle your girlfriend if it'll amuse you then. <laughs> Although I use the word battle and friend and girl in the loosest sense. <laughs> Jacqueline Harper likes having sex with hobbits. <laughs> She's... Fuck, no, I can't do this. I'm just not on it. Why am I in this situation? It is completely moronic. Why are you subjecting me to this, Adam? Be honest. Is it because I said I fucked her when I, we battled in Norwich? <laughs> this battle is nothing not even I want to witness. How do you expect me to rhyme with slickness when my opponent doesn't inspire any even remotely sick shit? I mean, she's not even English. <laughs> There's no angles to assault with any profane weaponry. She's had no problems like drug abuse, heroin, cocaine or ecstasy. No savage boyfriend trying to perform a home abortion leaving her broke shamed on the porch steps to bleed. Using some normal hat. You've lived a normal, happy life with your Texan mum and Texan dad who makes a living selling propane and propane accessories. <laughs> As a Texan Christian is how you were raised, kid. So being a battle rapper, that's something you're faking. Look, how would you expect to shake me or leave me till I'm quaking when you were raised to believe dinosaurs were tricks left by Satan? You <laughs> 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 brick! Fuck! I can't do this, I don't pull off hates well. Why the fuck am I stuck here battling my mates, girl? I mean, Jesus, my rap career definitely hasn't aged well. I went from ropey row to moss prob to getting bodied by cracker to some lanky yankee that chick from Twilight faced girl. It's a good thing my day job pays well. <laughs> Quite nice. <laughs> Two man, you're not very nice. Body bag. No. <laughs> I'm just messing. Oh now it's time God. for Mrs. Prop to teach Mrs. Mrs. Toucan a lesson. The amount of cider you can handle is your rap battle handle, Toucan. There's no way you can handle a Texan who can handle white Russians. I'll keep you on your toes and I'll sweep you off your feet. Or maybe I'll just use my southern charm and make you weak in the knees. Either way, as long as I keep your big game in my line of fire, I can kill it with ease. Because to face your lyrical brainstorm is like weathering a breeze. Am, am, am I nervous? Yeah. Bitch, please. I talked my way out of a ticket from the NYPD. Between the two of us, you're the one who wants to do this professionally, yet it's my name on the bill that's bringing in money for charity. My name... My name is Jacqueline Harper, and I'm wrapping it darker. Her name is Tom, but the H is silent. You like rap music, but don't endorse violence. Being with multiple women doesn't count if you're buying it. Face it, the hottest girls... Ever 
touched or lying on the sheets of comic books. Not that I blamed you, I think. <laughs> Lesbian porn is the best there is, because that's at least two more people who prefer what I got over his. <laughs> pink eye, a paper cut on my cornea, contacts that scratch my pupils and the sty, and I still think your plethora of hairstyles has been the most painful sort of my eye. Get it, together, get it together, find your image, and maybe your rap career will survive. Your first EP should have been titled Two Ken Has Cheeseburgers. At the very least, it would increase your number of listeners. People may accidentally write it. Instead, you're as useful to hip-hop as the Microsoft Word paperclip. And unlike you, and unlike you, I don't just post whatever I produce on the internet. Everybody poops. The world's got enough shit. <laughs> Ultimately, you can, I can't be too mean. We have a lot in common, or so it seems. We've both been the pink Power Ranger for multiple Halloweens. On Sundays, we like kicking back with a puzzle or flipping through bridal magazines, and we both keep fire and ice by our bed to do the protecting. But mine's a type of condom, and yours is a sword from Magic the Gathering. <laughs> <laughs> you are the opposite of what the Arctic Monkeys were singing about. Because I bet that you don't look good on the dance floor. <laughs> I, know, I know that I make looking shaky, awkward and uncoordinated an art form, but when we're listening to hip-hop, you look like you're dancing to hardcore. <laughs> She's made you look alright, man. <laughs> Shut up, shut up, respect oh, the artist for fuck's sake. I do, I do. You! Oh. I can't say anything that would leave you upset though. Simple reason, you're my mate's missus, so bro code says so. So instead of listing the million ways that you're a typical American step ho, I'll say that you were probably born with web toes, a uh, cleft lip and split nose. <laughs> Adam, this is really getting me vexed, bro. I can't let you mix your gene pool with one that's interbred loads. <laughs> your, your kids, I'm beginning to expect those might look like sickly red trolls with flabby hip rolls. Massive big moles and rancid skid mold. They'd be born looking suspiciously old, disfigured and cold. I must admit, Adam, I still haven't got past the fact that thinking of fucking that makes your cock hard. <laughs> your children, if you do have them, will have the cold, black, dead eyes of sharks. Because when he saw you wanted to fuck that, God laughed. Adam, <laughs> Adam, I must admit, I honestly never would have placed you with a good old-fashioned Texan Bible bashing creationist. <laughs> by the way, by the way, how does her dad feel about you being an atheist? 50 pounds says that he isn't okay with it. <laughs> and what about, Adam, when your old dear meets her? How could she see anything other than a stereotypical Yankee Doodle cheerleader? If you two got married, by the time you got old you'd go mad, weird and beat her. Because it's clear you two just don't work, like Ryan Dunn's gear lever. Oh. <laughs> You market yourself as being one of the nicest rappers. Well, I'm from the real South, where we have actual manners. So here's almost, <laughs> here's almost an entire round of Star Wars references for your listening pleasure. <laughs> you're obsessed with Star Wars fan fiction. Memorabilia covers your floors and walls. Too bad you're like a young Anakin, immature and equally forgettable. And who knows if and when any of your tracks will be less regrettable. However, with battles, freestyling, why don't you have young Padawan? <laughs> Superior empire than gang is con. But the possibility of winning a rap battle is approximately 3,720. <laughs> 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 the odds when I named my car after the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Seriously, Jackie, you're doing this? Don't do this, it's a trap. What, you're scared of Toucan? He's shit at rap. <laughs> My dark side, the force is strong, back to what we know. We both know Han shot first, fuck Lucas and Greedo. The secret's out, Toucan, your favorite Ewok is CeeLo. It's ironic, Brock plays the keys because he has a nose like Max Rebo. Don't be offended, Adam, it's just a joke. I'd just as soon kiss a Wookiee, I've seen the beard you can grow. And let's be real, let's be real. You must resemble C-3PO. I'm built for 
Vatican, not destruction! Uh, if you're C3PO and I'm R2D2, then shouldn't we be friends? Her circuit's going crazy when Han comes back at four's end, and before I forget, her get distracted by really cool Jedi mind tricks. The thought of you and I ever actually doing it makes my stomach twist. Like an uh, empire strikes back when Luke and Leia share a twin cestuous kiss. Uh, if I lose this battle to you, I won't be able to cope, so help me beat Cashmore! You're my only hope! Wow. After all these Star Wars references, I'll pause so you can have a masturbation break. <laughs> okay, that was 12 seconds. That's usually the duration he takes. <laughs> Texas's motto is don't mess with it. What's yours being from Ipswich? Most blatantly admit they'd rather look at gym teacher's armpit than visit, or even Wikipedia removed us for being useless content. It's so fucking obscure, autocorrect doesn't even recognize it, yet accurately auto predicts it's shit. <laughs> Here's a list of reasons I'm cooler than this toucan sweat. <laughs> College with the guy who created Nancat. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Hello? Uh huh? Yeah, I can tell him that. Your vagina called it wants its mustache back. <laughs> I had a little snoop around on your Facebook, yeah? <laughs> In your About Me section, you claim that I am sassy and I squeal. <laughs> That's what she said. We're not in the same level intellectually, I feel. I'm considered an expert in my field. You make Forrest Gump look like Einstein took that limitless mind pill. You listen to music like Ben Queller, Bob Dylan and Bell and Sebastian. Really pretentious stuff. I hope you lose your head in an accident. Like, I know this might seem terribly arrogant, but you threatening, thinking you can threaten me is embarrassing. Like, Rapunzel is your rap name, I've heard it said. I'm not going to call you by your rap name, you haven't earned it yet. You see, I'm going to battle you, but as a battler, you don't really deserve respect. You're just Mob's Pro's nah, you're just Mob's Pro's girlfriend. There's little worth you get. Woo! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Come on, you get that, man. Yeah. See, this is the problem when you call someone who's not clever and they're actually really clever. Never <laughs> seen a battle before, man. Shh. <laughs> Everybody hold it down. Oh, yeah. You also have the same emotionless face as Kristen Stewart. <laughs> I'm surprised that by now Adam doesn't want to drive his fist into it. <laughs> especially, especially since everything you know in the kitchen is useless, and as an American you just make tea really shit when you brew it. <laughs> Adam, how can you marry and legally want to be with somebody who doesn't know the difference between Earl Grey and PG tips? <laughs> Jesus! I don't believe this! Adam, why do you need this? She comes from a country where not being obese is considered an achievement! Come on! Come on! You really want to spend the rest of your life celebrating Independence Day? Every 4th of July, all the American friends you make will happily choose your face to hate when you're like, what's so special? It's just a Wednesday. I'm telling you this is your friend, mate, but every American woman is a fucking head case. She's not, she's not just on some bunny boiler shit. She's on some weight with the relight reason. Ah, fucking hell. Not dry, man. She's in the way to the release night of the last Harry Potter book, then leak you all the spoiler shit. As for the relationship, no matter how much you work and toilet it, she's never really gonna snap your heart for no reason other than she'd be enjoying it. So, to round off, Adam, I beg you, please just reconsider your whole life. I mean, she looks like Kristen Stewart, she's a racist Texan, so there is every chance that this hoe might not be so faithful when she catches a glimpse of Snow White. Right, right. Say whatever you want about America, I still think it's fucking great because when you've been kicking ass and taking names since 1776, haters gonna hate. <laughs> 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 I'm going to say anything about my 
elephant, please know that I am a woman with feelings. Also know that I have the aim to make your guts hit the ceiling. Thomas, do you want to know something? Every time that he's laughed, it's been genuine. He doesn't have to worry about when he's going to get in my pants again. Everyone can see they're held up by a flimsy elastic band. And in his eyes, I've kind of already won because he let me choose between Thorpe Park and Legoland. You may think that the cards are on the table, but you don't know what this Texan's holding. I wanted to impress him, so I agreed to do this. Adam, can you help me? He said no, because politics. If I was going to murder Toucan, he wouldn't be my accomplice. At least my best friend has a good conscience. Plus, people told Einstein no, but he did some stuff, I guess. So, it's for me that I do this. You just want to play with the cool kids, conceiving other rapper babies like you're playing The Sims. If DK and Pamphlet adopted villain Roy and gave that kid Kelsey... <laughs> And take away all the emergency exits and reduce you to ashes. Trust me, I know the desire to fit in. I've got the mind of a comedian, but the body of Maryland, so according to you, I shouldn't even be rapping. Every time you think you're stabbing, you're really handing a southern woman a loaded weapon. You obviously haven't seen Gone with the Wind. Try to hurt my feelings? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> all three rounds for misogyny, making you a complete failure to the nerd rapper community. So, those guys would never beat a woman, except intellectually. Do you want to know why most prob ended up with, and I quote you, a well fit lady? <laughs> He knows the bedroom is the only place to objectify me. He confessed that the steak I cooked is exceptionally tasty, and he's admitted that I'm fierce competition in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. He tends, he tends to see the best in people, even you, which is why after his battle, he decided to teach you what he knew, never turning away. You grasped multi-syllables, became stronger, less afraid. With every battle, you took baby steps, but made it a really long way. So how does it feel knowing that I fucked your sensei? <laughs> DK and the winner is Rapunzel! 